now we're gonna talk about uh, the le uh, the foot okay uh, this is uh, the left foot on the first uh, plastinated model uh, okay so uh, the sole uh, of the foot uh, is divided into four layers and uh, we're gonna study study it uh, that way okay from uh, the most inferior to the most superior layer so first second third and fourth layers all right so now beginning with the first layer uh, the sole of the foot uh, we've got uh, three muscles uh, this is the uh, abductor hallucis okay so all of that uh, it, it arises from the calcaneum and also the uh, flexor retinaculum so this is the uh, abductor hallucis okay and uh, from here we can also see it see um, this is all the abductor hallucis okay abductor hallucis and again all the way to here abductor hallucis okay this is abductor hallucis um, all right and uh, this one is a uh, flexor uh, hallucis brevis we're gonna talk about that later on because it's a it's in a different layer um, the second muscle is abductor digitae minimi okay uh, this is see from here uh, abductor digitae minimi Again, abductor, digitae minimi, this. And uh, we also have flexor uh, digitorum brevis. See this large muscle, uh, flexor uh, digitorum brevis, okay? Um, the, the tendons uh, of the flexor digitorum brevis uh, go to the lateral uh, four toes, but uh, they're not very clear here okay uh, but what is important to know is that um, this this and this are all uh, parts of the flexor digitorum brevis okay and now moving to the second layer um, we've got uh, two tendons uh, or tendon of two muscles uh, this is uh, the tendon of the flexor hallucis longus okay see all of that uh, the flexor hallucis longus tendon and uh, these are tendons of the flexor digitorum longus four tendons into the lateral four toes uh, this this uh, this and also this uh, tendons of the uh, flexor digitorum longus Okay, and about the muscles, uh, we've got lumbricals and the quadratus plantae. The quadratus plantae is beneath uh, the flexor digitorum brevis, so we can't see that here. Uh, and the lumbricals, uh, they could be these. But they're not very obvious. And maybe also this. Okay, and um, uh, moving to the third layer. Uh, we've got uh, the fle uh, the flexor muscles okay so um, this is the flexor hallucis brevis actually it has got two hats the medial hat and the lateral hat so um, they are uh, differentiated uh, by the tendon of the flexor hallucis longus medial and lateral hats of the uh, flexor hallucis brevis uh, but for the exam we don't need to differentiate between the medial and lateral heads if there's a spot on this or on this we just say uh, that this is the flexor hallucis brevis uh, okay and uh, we also have the uh, flexor uh, digitae minimi brevis or we can simply say flexor digitae minimi um, the reason why we say brevis is that uh, there is already a tendon uh, from the flexor digitorum longus that goes to the little uh, to the little toe 
So we said that this is the uh, tendon of the flexor, uh, or this tendon of the uh, flexor, the digitorum longus, that goes to the little toe. So we would uh, regard this as the flexor uh, digitorum, uh, sorry, flexor digitorum in my brevis. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, this is uh, flexor digitorum in my. Uh, brevis and uh, this could also be part of that see uh, this this could also be part uh, of the uh, flexor uh, digitime in my brevis along with this from here uh, the dorsal surface uh, we can also see part of the flexor uh, digitime in my brevis so this was abductor uh, digitime in my and this is part of the uh, flexor digitime in my uh, brevis uh, okay and uh, we do also have um, adductor halosis uh, somewhere here but it's deeper so uh, we can't see that here and uh, for the fourth layer uh, we've got uh, two tendons and uh, a bunch of muscles the muscles are the interossei muscles three plantar and four dorsal interossei muscles we can see the plantar interossei but we can see the dorsal interossei from the dorsal surface so see and um, these are the uh, dorsal interossei and um, the first and um, second, third, and fourth dorsal interossei. Okay, and about the tendons, again we can't see them in the sole of the foot, uh, but it's important to know that we've got two tendons in the fourth layer. Uh, they are the um, tendon of the peroneus longus. Uh, we said that this is the peroneus longus. Uh, and there goes its tendon uh, from the lateral uh, of the foot to the medial part. So this is tendon uh, of the um, pronius longus. Okay, it appears in the fourth layer. And uh, we also have tendon of the tibialis posterior. So here from the medial surface, uh, the most medial tendon is the tibialis posterior tendon. Uh, again, we see that in the fourth layer of the sole of the foot. Okay, now uh, we're going to talk about uh, the foot or the sole of the foot, uh, the four layers. Um, okay, so uh, begin beginning with the uh, first layer, um, of course, uh, inferiorly, um, we've got uh, three muscles. Um, this is the uh, abductor uh, digitime and my abductor this time in my and um, this is the abductor uh, halosis and this is the uh, flexor digitorum brevis okay and these are its tendons see these are tendons of the flexor uh, digitorum brevis so Abductor dyshymenomai, flexor dyshymenomai brevis, and abductor halosis. Alright, and um, we're gonna go to the second layer. In the second layer, we've got the quadratus plantae muscle. Okay, this is the quadratus plantae or the flexor accessory accessories. Okay, this is the uh, quadratus plantae. It, is, it has got a, a square shape, kind of. Quadratus plantae, and from here you can also see the quadratus plantae. See, this is this is where it originates from. Uh, quadratus plantae, and all the way into here. See, again, this is uh, quadratus uh, plantae. It inserts into the tendons of the flexor digitorum longus. So, this is uh, tendon. Of the flexor digitorum longus 
and it then divides into four tendons of course see um, this is the um, first second third and fourth tendons so see again um, this is tendon of the flexor uh, digitorum longus it divides into four tendons of course first second third and fourth tendons the flexor digitorum longus and of course the quadratus plantae muscle inserts into uh, the tendons of the flexor digitorum longus and uh, it's called uh, the flexor accessory because um, it helps the uh, flexor digitorum longus in flexing the lateral fortus uh, okay and um, we've got the lumbrical muscles in the second layer um, so th these are them um, this is the first second third and fourth lumbrical muscles the lumbrical muscles are attached uh, to the tendons of the uh, flexor digitorum longus okay and we've got another tendon which is a uh, tendon of the flexor hallucis longus see um, this is it this is a uh, tendon uh, of the flexor uh, hallucis longus that goes to the distal phalanx of the big toe Flex flexor hallucis longus tendon uh, okay, and that's all about the second layer. Now let's go to the uh, third layer. In the third layer, we've got the flexor muscles. Uh, so here we can see the flexor hallucis brevis. Um, so this is the flexor hallucis uh, brevis muscle. It has got two heads. Um, see, this is one. This one is the medial head, and this one is the lateral head of the flexor hallucis brevis. Okay, uh, it's not very important to differentiate between the two heads, but if there's a spot on this or on this, we'd say that uh, this is the uh, flexor hallucis brevis. Okay, and from here we can also see that. See, um, this is it. Uh, this is the flexor hallucis brevis. Okay, this was the abductor hallucis, and uh, this is the flexor hallucis brevis. Uh, all right. Um, and yeah, uh, we also have uh, adductor hallucis, uh, but it's not very obvious here. Okay, and next uh, we've got the flexor digitorum minimi brevis. Okay, um, this is it. This was the uh, abductor digitorum minimi, uh, but this one is the uh, flexor digitorum minimi brevis. Uh, okay, and uh, from here again. Um, dorsally you can also see it uh, see um, this is the uh, abductor digitorum minimi this one and this one is the flexor digitorum minimi brevis uh, this is the fourth dorsal interosseous we'll talk about that okay um, so that was pr pretty much everything about uh, the uh, third layer, uh, we said that we have um, flexor hallucis uh, brevis, um, flexor distal brevis, and also a ductor hallucis, which is not obvious. And now let's go to the fourth layer. In the fourth layer, uh, we've got the uh, interosseous muscles, three plantar, uh, which are not obvious, and four dorsal. Okay, so let's go to the dorsal surface. Uh, all right. Um, okay, so uh, these are the uh, dorsal interossei muscles. Um, this is the first, second, third, and fourth dorsal interossei muscles. Uh, all right, and uh, they originate um, from the adjacent sites of the metatarsal bones. So this is the uh, first metatarsal, the second, third, fourth, and fifth metatarsal bones. Um, in the fourth layer, uh, we also have two tendons, 
Okay, uh, so firstly we've got um, tendon of the uh, tibialis posterior muscle. So this is the tibialis posterior tendon, uh, which attaches to the tuberosity of the navicular bone. Uh, okay, and um, we also have the tendon of the peroneus longus muscle. This is the peroneus longus uh, tendon, uh, 